Are you nervous because I'm talking to the camera? Did I scare you? I just started talking all of a sudden. Six-year-old is in here playing with magnet blocks, having some alone time away from (laughs) four-year-olds. You might have seen my recent short shopping haul I did recently, going to Kroger and Trader Joe's and Grocery Outlet. I thought I would do a more in-depth price breakdown of what I bought. For those who don't know, Grocery Outlet is what it sounds like, I guess. It's a discount grocery store. Some of their stuff's a good deal, some of it not. I find their produce is often the same price, if not more, than what I can get at Kroger or even Trader Joe's. But some of their other stuff, like dates, popcorn, some vegan products, non-dairy and mock meats and stuff like that can be pretty awesome, pretty good deal. Oh, and this is for a family of five. This is for myself and my partner, my six-year-old, my, I'm saying it like you can see them, and my four-year-old and my six-month-old. So obviously six-month-old is not going to have a whole lot of food, just formula and some baby food. Instant white rice, 42 ounces for $7.29. Obviously a lot more expensive than just dried, you know, not pre-cooked. This is the very first time I've ever bought instant rice of any kind. It's just not something we ate (laughs) growing up, not to sound snobbish or anything. It is terrific because there are so many times I make a stir fry or a curry or whatever, and then I realize I don't have rice and now I have to spend 20 to almost 40 minutes making rice, depending on if I have white or brown. Rice that takes five minutes is really nice and it's great, like it's fine. It tastes the same. Texture is not even worse, the white anyway. I haven't had brown. I did buy a box of brown rice, 14 ounces and 1.99. This was the Kroger brand. The other one is the Minute brand. The Kroger was gone. (laughs) This huge section of Kroger instant rice, all gone. Soy sauce, a whole liter. Kikkoman soy sauce, $8.49. Belvita breakfast cookies, the peanut butter, two boxes of those. Six-year-old really, really likes the peanut butter ones. $7.98, so almost $4 each. Silk unsweetened soy milk, the half gallons, three of those for $12.87, so that's four something each. This is one of the things that have definitely increased in price. In recent years, used to be we would get it for like $3.29 and then on sale $2.99 when Kroger would do their like buy five, save five, right? Buy five things, save $5. Now it's three something when they do that. So yeah, that kind of sucks because we go through a lot of soy milk. Oh, and all those things were from Kroger. This one is not. This is the Ripple milk, two of those for a dollar. 49 each. If you buy Ripple pea milk regularly, you know that is not the typical price. I just looked up the price at Kroger. It was over $6 for one of these. $2.98 for two is pretty good. I knew the price was going to go lower because I've seen Ripple there before and generally it stays for a little bit. So I saw it a couple weeks ago and it was $2.99 and I was like, "Mm, I'll wait. The risk was worth it because $1.49. Yeah. Another non-Kroger one, this one from Trader Joe's, the tomato basil marinara, four of those for $1.99 each. I think that's pretty affordable and it's really the only store-bought tomato sauce that I like. Most of them are too sweet and I don't like their other ones either. This is the only one I like. We tried their organic one once because they were out of this for a long time and it was trash. Oh yeah, I think I talked about it in one of my product reviews. It tasted like raw tomato sauce. Like it tastes like if you're trying to make a raw marinara, like just sad. (laughs) No depth of flavor. It's terrible. Another Trader Joe's, some tofu. I got two of those for $1.79, so $3.58 each. And then I got more tofu from Kroger, the Simple Truth brand. I often do this because sometimes Kroger doesn't have it, especially when it's on sale, which it was this week. So I went ahead and got just a couple from Trader Joe's just in case, because they're usually about the same price. 14 ounces at Kroger. I got five five of them for $5.95 because they had a digital coupon at 50 cents off one and you can use that five times in a transaction. So yes, I do use the Fred Meyer app. I probably save several dollars a week doing that. Obviously you have to be careful because it can be easy to buy something that you wouldn't otherwise buy, like a delicious creamer because it's 50 cents off, right? Not not really saving you money. Quaker Life cereal, they're, they're giant size, the 24 ounce for $3.99. Definitely 
cheap in terms of the vegan cereals, like the organic ones or the Nature's Path or whatever. They're like four something for a tiny, teeny box. Pineapple, $2.99, also Trader Joe's. I've basically been exclusively getting pineapple from Trader Joe's for the last while because I've been burned too many times with Kroger and with Trader Joe's I haven't yet at all. So yeah, I've been getting a few different produce items from Trader Joe's recently. TJ's. Can I just say TJ's? <laughs> Quick Oats, 42 ounces, $3.99. Broccoli Florets, 32 ounces, $6.19. So not super cheap, but I can't do heads of broccoli because there have been like bugs in them sometimes, these little like aphids or something. And I just, I can't do it again. I can't, no, no. If I get off broccoli, like what vegetable am I gonna eat? I can't have asparagus every day as much as I would love to have asparagus every day. It's too damn expensive, I can't do it. And also I don't want my pee to smell like that. 24 seven. So I get the broccoli florets. I've never had any bugs or anything in them. You could do frozen, that's cheaper too but it's not, it's not as good. The texture is just not the same. For steamed anyway, if you're roasting, it's not that big of a deal in my opinion, but steamed, you can definitely tell a difference. Oh, four-year-old gave this to me. <laughs> I think it ended up on the floor, got a little, got a little crumples. It's like a little, I don't even know, what is that? little creature. They're really good at drawing. They drew the second boss in Persona 5 and I could tell immediately what it was. It was fun. Carrots, five pounds of carrots for $4.29. Carrots are always cheap. Coconut oil, 30 ounces for $7.99. It's the Kroger brand. Refined coconut oil. This is definitely the best price that I've found. A lot of the other stuff is organic and really expensive. Crushed tomatoes, I got two 15 ounce cans of those for $2, so a dollar each. Asian style meatballs, this is that meatless farm. I forgot we tried something from them, the sausage links that were not good. They just turned to like mush as soon as they cooled down just a little bit. I forgot that that was the same brand, so I'm a little concerned, but it just sounds so good. Asian style meatballs, ooh. That sounds yummy. So those were $2.99. Definitely not cheap for the amount you get. It's a pretty small box, but the regular price I'm sure is like, what, $6 or something. So it's a steal. Sweet Earth Pepperoni. I usually get their bacon. Sometimes Grocery Outlet has a ton of it. Not my favorite thing, but the kids really love it. But they didn't have that. They had the pepperoni, $2.99 each. So $5.98. Again, usually you're gonna find it for four or five dollars, something like that. Basil, kale, pesto from Trader Joe's, $3.99. I really like this stuff for making pasta. Six-year-old loves pesto and my four-year-old now loves it too. And it's really easy. I just take this stuff. I mix it with cashews. I blend up cashews and water and a little more salt. I just blend that up and then I pour that over the cooked noodles, add the pesto in there, add some of the Violife Parmesan grated, and just mix that together and that's it. It's so good. More produce from Trader Joe's. Red bell peppers, $1.29 each. I got two of those, so $2.58. I've been getting bell peppers from them for a while because they're almost always cheaper than Kroger, but yeah, they raised the price recently. They used to be $0.99 cents each. Darn it. Shit's expensive out here. It sucks. Bananas, $1.67 for the bunch. One lemon, 39 cents. That was Trader Joe's. And I don't know if that's a good price or not because I never buy lemons. I just needed one because this one over here really wants me to make... What lemon thing do you want me to make? They're not listening. <laughs> they want me to make these lemon balls. I always make them the chocolate coconut ones. They want these lemon coconut ones that I haven't made in forever, but they keep asking about them. So I made sure to get a lemon so I can use fresh lemon and lemon zest and all that. One avocado, also Trader Joe's, $1.79, which is just insane, but they were $2 at Kroger. <sighs> Raspberries, tiny little six ounce pint, $2.79 from Kroger. Again, insane, but four-year-old loves raspberries. They were on sale recently for like $1.60 or something. That's pretty good. Oh, I have some baby food there in the video. I'll get to that in a minute. And a couple things I forgot that I just put up, I guess, as soon as I walked in and forgot about them. I got a couple onions, $1.33 total, and I got a couple Roma tomatoes, 72 cents total. Silk unsweetened vanilla almond yogurt, the huge 24 ounce container for $6.29. That's pretty good. And then a couple of the small silk almond milk mixed berry flavor. These were from Grocery Outlet, 50 cents each. 
If you haven't been a grocery outlet and you have one in your area and you eat lots of dates, go just to see their price of dates because it is so much better than Kroger, than Trader Joe's. I get the 12 ounce container. I got two of them, $3.99 each. Now they have, I think the same exact brand, these pitted dates for $6.99 at Kroger. Hamburger buns, the Dave's Killer, which are ridiculous. These were $6.99. I like the size. Kroger has a whole wheat one that's much cheaper, but they're like this big. They're tiny and like the, it doesn't fit. <laughs> it doesn't fit on the meat lovers burgers that I love, the Morningstar Farms. It doesn't fit on any burger, like, but they're just, they're ridiculously small. The Dave's Killer are a much better size and they're really, really good. Are they $7 good? No, we need more vegan hamburger buns, you know? It's weird. Brown rice from Trader Joe's, just regular, not instant. Three pounds for $3.99. What did I say? Instant, 42 ounces, so not even three pounds for $7.29. So yeah, obviously uncooked is gonna be a lot cheaper, but you lose the convenience there. Green onions, 99 cents each. I think they've been that price I don't, forever. Simple Truth Veggie Dogs. I've had these on my list for, I feel like months now. Kroger has been like, hey, these are on sale, pick them up. And they're never there. And they finally had them. $3.99 for 12 ounces with the 50 cents digital coupon. They are very similar to the Light Life. I mean, when I looked at them, I was like, oh my God, these are just Light Life. Like even the ingredients, like these are Light Life smart dogs. But no, not quite. The taste is a little different. They're actually even more salty than Light Life, which like, what the hell? Those are already so salty. The texture is softer and just real weird. <laughs> the only ones I really love are the Field Roast Stadium Dogs. Oh man, those are delicious. But like $8 for four or something. <laughs> Alexia Sweet Potato Fries, 20 ounces for $5.79. Why aren't there other sweet potato fries in the freezer section that are cheaper than that? Why doesn't Kroger have frozen sweet potato fries? I don't know. More Trader Joe's. We get the rainbow cauliflower. It's just so pretty. The kids like it. It's fun. $2.99. So definitely more expensive than regular cauliflower. Oh, I think it's organic too. Crackers. These are the Trader Joe's Ritz crackers. They don't have palm oil in them. I believe the regular Ritz do. $2.79. I probably should stop buying them. I mean, I say I buy them for the kids because they're, they like crackers and peanut butter sometimes, whatever. But no, I end up eating, I don't know, half of them. Lara Bar, this was Grocery Outlet, $2.99. Now it's the cherry pie, which my kids don't really care for. They only like the ones with chocolate chips in them, basically. <laughs> but partner really likes cherry stuff. So I got this for him. He was pretty excited. And yeah, $2.99 for a six. That's 50 cents each. Usually they're gonna be closer to a dollar each. Popcorn, Grocery Outlet. This 30 ounce Orville Redenbacher, $2.79 at Kroger. It's $5.99. So definitely a steal there. This is the only popcorn brand we get. I think we've gotten Trader Joe's before and that was fine. Some of you might remember the whole popcorn incident from years ago. We stopped that by just buying other brands of popcorn and not buying Kroger popcorn anymore. I don't buy store brand at all. I buy Orville Redenbacher. We've tried the Jolly Time, Select Time, whatever it's called. And those had a few weird moldy, grassy tasting ones. But yeah, whenever they have popcorn at grocery outlet, I snatch it up. And then the baby stuff. I've got some girls baby food down there, two of the four ounce pear and cinnamon and oat. And then the other one's similar. It's like apple and oat and rice, banana, and I think a blackberry, blueberry one. Those are $1.89 each. So $9.45 because I got five of them. So yeah, that's... <laughs> not cheap. I almost said maybe one of these days I'll make baby food, but if I'm not doing it now, it's, it's never going to happen. And then the formula. So they have these 12.4 ounce containers of the powder that you mix with water. Four of those, well, one is $19.46, $77.96. Whew. They used to have the larger containers. I have not seen those since the shortage. But Similac is sending coupons. We got like $90 worth of coupons a few months ago. Then we got another $30 worth like a month ago. Then we got another $30 worth just like in the last week. So yeah, 
very much appreciated. So that's it. I forgot to put the total price on here, but it's probably a little over 200, maybe 220, something like that, not including the formula and the baby food. I was way off. It's actually $163.34 minus all the baby food and the formula. And I know I don't need to say this, but just in case this isn't like the only food we eat for the week and we're not going to eat all of this for the week, right? I'm not going to eat a whole 30 ounces of coconut oil. <laughs> It'll probably be, I don't know, six months to a year before we go through all of that. And we've got lots of frozen vegetables and mock meats and stuff that we go through. Yeah. Which is actually the current low cost USDA food plan for two adults and two little kids. $220 a week is the low co cost plan, which is crazy because I did the low cost plan about two years ago, April 2021. At that time, it was like $150 a week. That was the low cost plan. So it's increased by $70? What? In just two years? That's, that's, that's no. But yeah, if I were going to save some money here, the Belvita cookies, that's like $8 of basically treats, basically <laughs> cookies. They've got some whole grains or whatever, but basically treats. The unsweetened soy milk, we might start making our own soy milk. Apparently partner loves fresh soy milk. I didn't even know this. We've had a soy milk maker for maybe years now that he used for a little bit, but then was too lazy, I guess, to, to keep making it. But yeah, that would definitely save a good bit of money. The broccoli, I could buy the regular whole heads instead of the bagged florets. No, I could not. The Asian style meatballs and the pepperoni, that's, but that's a good amount of protein. I mean, I don't know. I don't think that's worth sacrificing. Whereas the $8 of cookies, I could make baby food. <laughs> no. The hamburger buns, $7. It's just, that's insane. The sweet potato fries. It's not hard to make sweet potato fries. I could definitely do that. I actually have sweet potato, I think. <laughs> so yeah, that would be some ways to save uh, several extra dollars a month, really. And again, just checking the local coupons. If you have a Kroger, Fred Meyer in your area, definitely check out the app and go through the coupons. I do that every night before I go shopping the next morning. And that's it for me. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to know what you're spending on food <laughs> for yourself or for your family, how you are saving some money, less processed stuff, probably. I mean, I wish that were true. I wish it were just that easy. Just eat healthier and you'll save money. Not necessarily true, right? The raspberries, almost $3 for like two raspberries. Come on. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be notified when I upload. Thank you so much to my patrons at patreon.com slash unnatural vegan. I do post two exclusive videos there a month for $5 plus patrons. I'm going to have the second one up soon. It's going to be a controversial topic. So that'll be fun. 